Opening statements began this morning in former President Donald Trump's historic criminal trial in New York. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee is accused of falsifying business records related to a so-called hush money payment during his 2016 campaign. Trump denies any wrongdoing, claiming that the trial is politically motivated. Jared Hill reports from outside the courthouse in Manhattan. Jared. Sternman Court is over for the day now, and we saw here uh, a couple of things. One, former President Trump railing against the judge as well as Michael Cohen on his way out after prosecutors and the defense laid out their opening statement to the jury, really showcasing to the jury how they see this case should be viewed. Take a look. Former President Trump again claimed to be the victim of a witch hunt as he entered the courtroom ahead of opening statements in his historic trial. What's going on right here should never be happening. It's a very, very sad day in America. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. He's accused of using his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, to funnel payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. In their opening statement, prosecutors said Trump, quote, orchestrated a criminal scheme to corrupt the 2016 election. Trump denies any wrongdoing. This is their most important day besides jury selection. And CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says there's a reason. Studies have shown many jurors make up their minds during opening statements. If you hear a persuasive story and then you hear another persuasive story, you make a decision as to which one you believe. Mm. And if you get invested in that belief, it takes a lot to knock you off. Former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker is expected to be the prosecution's first witness and to testify at about alleged catch and kill scheme to purchase and prevent the circulation of negative Trump stories. Because he has to be here for the trial, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee has largely been sidelined from the campaign trail. I'm here instead of being able to be in Pennsylvania and Georgia and lots of other places campaigning. The trial is expected to last several weeks. Okay, so again, the day is done here in court. The jury expects to be back here at 11 o'clock for the continuation of this trial. There also, though, before that is going to be a hearing happening uh, here in the court around allegations from the prosecution that former President Trump violated his gag order with a number of social media posts he's made in recent weeks. We're expecting to hear uh, those arguments and see what actually happens out of that uh, again later on this morning, tomorrow morning. Back to you. All right, Jared in New York, thank you very much.